Okay, boys and girls, the letter that we're going to do today is the letter D, and it's a lot like the letter A and C, especially like A because it closes the hoop. It starts under the dotted line. It starts under the dotted line, goes up and touches the dotted line, but instead of stopping, it goes all the way to the top, follows the line back down, and then hooks around at the bottom. Okay, let's watch it one more time. It starts on the dotted line, or actually right under the dotted line, goes up, touches, down, touches the bottom, all the way up to the top, and then a little hook at the bottom. That one wasn't quite as nice. Let's try another one. Starts under the dotted line, goes up, touches the dotted line, closes all the way up, follows the line back down, and hooks. Okay, we'll try one more. Watch carefully starts right there. See where I put my dot under the dotted line? But you don't lift your pencil. It goes up, touches the dotted line, comes down, touches the bottom line, goes up, touches the very top line, and then comes around and hooks. Okay, now we're going to pause the recording so you can go make your D's. Remember to trace it four times in your dark box first, and don't start joining your letters yet. Okay, now let's try joining the D and the I together. Starts right below the dotted line, goes up and touches, touches the bottom all the way up to the top, hooks under and continues to the dotted line, comes back down, stops about in the middle, then you come back and dot your I. Now let's try DA. Same thing, but it comes and scoops over that way, comes back down to the bottom, and then does a little hook. Now let's try DU. Starts under the dotted line, touches the bottom line all the way up, then it goes one, two, three humps before you stop. Now DR. Under the dotted line, comes down all the way up, and it comes all the way, touches the dotted line, doesn't quite touch the dotted line, and scoots under like that. Now we'll try doing another letter first, the letter I first. Goes up, touches the line, follows the line back down. Now it scoots over like that, or comes around. Touches the bottom line all the way up to the top, then back down. Okay, now we're going to try some whole words. Let's try the word draw. Regular D, up to the top. R, touches, doesn't touch. A, scoops around, curves over the top, then follows it back down. And W touches. It's kind of like a U, but it has a little tail at the end. It goes one, two, three, and a little tail. Now let's try the word did. D I D. And the last word we will try is dust. All the way up to the top, then one, two, three for the U, then S has a big fat belly at the bottom, follows the belly back around all the way to the top, follows the line back down, then you lift your pencil and cross the T. Now we're going to write a couple of words that have D at the end. Okay, this one starts with a C, which just like the D, it starts right under the dotted line, goes up, touches the dotted line, goes over and around for the A. R touches the top, not quite touches the top. Now our D goes over just like the A did. Follow it back around all the way to the top and then flips out. Let's try the word aid. Aid means to help. A I over the top, follow the line back around all the way up, and then a the little hook at the end. 
Now let's try the word add, like to add two numbers. A again starts under the dotted line. D hooks over, follows it back all the way up, follows it down, hooks over, follows it back, all the way up, follows it down. The only thing I didn't do is, is my slant. Remember you're drawing up towards this corner.